Madhyalila chapter 12 All glory to Lord Vishvambar, the Lord and Master of all the Vaishnavas. Please give us devotional service to you and make us your surrendered devotees. Lord Nityananda performed many wonderful pastimes with Lord Chaitanya in Navadweep. Lord Nityananda did innumerable extraordinary deeds engrossed in the ecstasy of love of Krishna. Like a little boy, he went about his work with simple enthusiasm. He spoke always very sweetly to all the devotees he met and danced, laughed, and sang to himself in bliss. Sometimes moved to outbursts of ecstasy, he roared loudly, astonishing one and all. He sometimes jumped and swam in the crocodile-infested, swelling, hissing monsoon waters of the Ganga, fearless and carefree. Everyone gasped with consternation, but Lord Nityananda swam about in the waters, laughing and splashing. He swam about in the mood of Lord Ananta Shesh, feeling completely at home in the waters of the Ganga, while the spectator devotees held their breath in anxiety. At times, Lord Nityananda became so surcharged with ecstasy and love of Krishna that he went into unconscious trance, lasting three to four days. These are some of the inconceivable pastimes of the Lord. They are endless and eternal, and I am incapable of describing them all. One day, Lord Chaitanya was sitting alone when Lord Nityananda came to him completely naked, chuckling like a child. His eyes and pure face were twinkling, and tears of limitless joy cascaded down his cheeks. He went about repeating, like loud peals of thunder, this sentence, My Lord and Master is Nimai Pandit of Nadia. Lord Chaitanya smiled, amused at the sight of Lord Nityananda's large, brilliant, beautifully formed, and completely bare frame. Hastily, Lord Chaitanya removed the cloth from his own head and wrapped it around him, but Nitai continued to chuckle as if nothing happened. Lord Chaitanya then smeared perfume on his body, decorating him with a flower garland, and began to glorify Lord Nityananda. Your name is Nityananda, and so is your form and demeanor, always and eternally blissful. You are Nityananda now, as you were Balaram before. No one can interrupt the ecstatic and unlimited joy you experience, as your name suggests, in everything you do, whether walking, eating, or otherwise. Ordinary man cannot appreciate your transcendental potencies. You are always to be found where Lord Krishna is present. Krishna is eternal and is the absolute truth, and so are you since you are his eternal associate. Lord Nityananda is perpetually relishing the nectar of loving devotion to Lord Chaitanya, and all his words and deeds are fulfilling Lord Chaitanya's innermost desire. Lord Chaitanya said to him, Since long I have one unfulfilled desire. I would like to have your kopan loincloth. Saying this, he went and brought his kopan, then tore it to many long strips. The Lord then distributed one by one these strips to the assembled Vaishnavas, telling them, Place it on your heads. These are the most precious, worshipable objects, even to Lord Shiva, the king of the yogis, what to speak about others. One attains the exalted position of becoming a pure devotee of the Supreme Lord, only by Nityananda's grace. All of you should know that he is the embodiment of Lord Krishna's full transcendental potencies. Lord Nityananda is identical to and is the immediate expansion of Lord Krishna. He is an eternal associate, friend, and brother to Krishna. He expands himself as Krishna's bed, ornaments, and other such paraphernalia. His character and pastimes are a mystery even in the Vedic literatures, although he is everyone's maintainer, protector, and friend. All his activities are full of devotional nectar to Lord Krishna. It is easy to attain the highest perfection of love of Krishna by serving him. So all of you place these strips from his kopan on your heads and go home and worship it with care and regard. The Vaishnavas wrap the kopan strips lovingly around their heads following Lord Chaitanya's instruction. Again, Lord Chaitanya spoke, Listen, all you devotees, now drink the water that has washed the lotus feet of Lord Nityananda. Thus you will immediately imbibe unfaltering faith in Lord Krishna's devotional service. Of this there is no doubt. Having received Lord Chaitanya's instructions, the devotees washed Lord Nityananda's lotus feet and drank the water. They drank as much as possible, five times, ten times, and more. Lord Nityananda, who was throughout the entire episode engrossed within himself, remained smiling benignly. 
Lord Chaitanya sat down and began to distribute this water with utmost pleasure. The devotees drank and became intoxicated, chanting, Hari, Hari. The devotees each expressed their joy. Someone said, Today was the fulfillment of my life. Another said, All the bonds of my material entanglement were severed today. Another commented, Today I feel I have become a servant of Lord Krishna. Still another voice said, This water is so relishable, its sweet taste still lingers in my mouth. This water was so unique that immediately upon drinking, everyone became spiritually excited. Some danced, some began to sing, others started rolling on the ground, and still others could not stop roaring out loud with joy. Just then a jubilant kirtan started up. Some devotees sang Krishna songs and others began to dance. In a moment, Lord Chaitanya rose up and letting out a thunderous cry, joined in the dance. Meanwhile, Nityananda Prabhu also stood up and started dancing. Unable to contain their joy, the devotees encircled both their lordships and continued their ecstatic dancing and jostling. They were intoxicated with joy, falling on each other, played little games touching each other's feet and smearing their heads with the dust. Some hung on to each other's necks, sobbing happily. They all mingled happily, forgetting the mood of reverence. The Lord and his servants all danced together. Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda embraced each other ever so often and danced with blissful gestures. Mother Earth trembled under the rhythmic dancing of Lord Nityananda and the whole world resounded with Hari Hari. Drowned in the nectarian ocean of love of Godhead, Gora and Nitai, the lords of Vaikuntha, danced in ecstasy with their servitors. All these pastimes are endless. They simply become manifest at a certain time and place and again become non-manifest. This is clearly explained in the Vedas. After dancing the whole day, Lord Chaitanya finally sat down with all his devotees. He clapped thrice loudly and then spoke benignly, Whoever worships Lord Nityananda in loving devotion loves me also. His lotus feet are worshipped by Lord Shiva and Lord Brahma. Always offer your love and devotion to him. If anyone is critical of him or dislikes him, then even if anyone is a devotee, he is rejected by me. Whoever has even so much as received a slight touch of Lord Nityananda, Lord Krishna will never forsake him. Lord Chaitanya's words brought resounding applause from all the devotees. Whosoever hears these transcendental narrations with faith and devotion becomes protected and maintained by Lord Chaitanya. Such activities of Lord Nityananda Prabhu are fully understood only by those who are his confidential associates and the eternal associates of Lord Chaitanya. Lord Sri Krishna Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda Prabhu are my life and soul. I, Vrindavan Das, offer this song at their lotus feet. <laughs>